why when we got older did we stop drinking out of silly straws? Like, honestly, there's no better way of drinking anything than with a silly straw, bro. Like, it's fun, it's cool, and you still get a drink. Like, bro. <laughs> what is up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new reaction, and today we are watching the top 10 hardest UK accents to imitate. Hey, we all know, we all know. I can't do a British accent, a UK accent. Well, I cannot do accents besides this one right here at all. My tongue just don't work like that for some reason. But I would say, you know, y'all probably think the same way for me, but when I hear people with a real thick British accent, it, I, I can't understand them. I really can't. Hell, I can't understand myself sometimes, so it, it makes sense. So I figured the hardest UK accents to imitate are probably some of the hardest UK accents to even understand. So I'm interested to see which UK accent is the hardest. So we're about to get into it. If y'all new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Try and hit 100k. Once we do me a UK theme tattoo, we are like inching closer and closer by the day. Like... I'm, I'm starting to sweat. I have no idea what we're going to get yet, so y'all drop some tattoo ideas down in the comments. I'm excited, though. I'm excited. I really am, bro. Let's go. Drop a like if you want to see more reactions like this. But other than that, let's get into it. This list, we've focused on core UK accents that can prove particularly awkward to copy. So, clear your throats, warm up those vocal cords, and let's see how many <coughs> of those regional wonders you can recreate. Am I lying? What have you happened today with your den? Robbing people, robbing them of stuff that's important to them. Number 10. Excuse me. What you happened today with your den? Robbing people, robbing them of stuff that's important to them. Okay, okay. It, it took me twice, but I, I, I can kind of understand. <laughs> Number 10, Cockney. This job is bigger yeah, than yeah. anything Bridges done up until now. With the sheer size of London, it's no surprise that the city boasts multiple accents. But none are quite as famous or as difficult to master as good old Cockney. Yeah, I feel like Cockney is probably the most popular one like whenever i think of a british accent i feel like i think of a cockney accent everyone recognizes how it sounds and most can copy a few key phrases although the rhyming slang does confuse the issue for some all right you're not doing it the way he speaks but dick van dyke's infamous portrayal of bert in mary poppins proves that cockney isn't exactly easy to grasp all right i'll do it myself number nine mancunian these things i want huh. can't have i do without it's not usually listed as a particularly prominent UK accent, but it is difficult to do right. Man, I've never heard of that before in my life. Thanks to a barrage of popular comedians, entertainers, and a certain Britpop band, the Mank accent has become much more well known. That, that's what it's about, you know what I mean? It's like, everyone's a bit square at the moment, aren't they? You know what I mean? Everyone's just a bit serious and miserable, you know what I mean? In fact, if you do he was, a, he was a rambling. <laughs> to try and add it to your own intonation, you could do worse than to listen to a back catalogue of British rock music for inspiration. Or just watch a few episodes of Corrie. Perhaps I should stretch out on the couch and we could do this properly. Number eight, Ulster English. You know, you live in your little bubble here behind your wall with your maids hey, and chauffeurs and servants. Everyone loves a good Irish accent, but there's so many variations that it can be tricky to separate them. And Ulster English brings a whole new dialect on top of a very distinct tone of speaking. And because it's so distinct, it's immediately obvious whenever it's done badly. Are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. I but will find. People will often find themselves slipping into other accents and generally getting more and more frustrated. Has his sudden tragic death interrupted your studies? Well, has a bit actually, yeah. <laughs> Number seven. Wet hey, that's understandable though. Like slipping up and going into different accents when you're trying to do one, bro. I can barely stay in my accent. This is just how I talk. Like, <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine having to be an actor and learning how to do accents like that, bro. Not me. No. Country. Excuse me. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Our next entry touches on various regional twangs, each as difficult as the next to recreate. From Bristol to Cornwall, these accents are actually widely used on TV, especially by some of our favourite comics. I said five minutes, but nothing. Women like you are the reason this chicken's late in the first place. You'll be lucky if you get any of my lovely chicken if you keep up this kind of behaviour. Stereotypically, the West Country ramble is obviously associated with farmers, but it's not all hayfields and combine harvesters. I was right, dang, so West Country mumbo, that's the, that's the southern accent of the UK. So that's what I would sound like if I was born over there? Dang. <laughs> the hard-hitting crime drama Broadchurch also puts the accent onto primetime telly. I love you very much. And if you remember that smile, give it a go for me, would you? <laughs> Number six, Scouse. Where's what? my coffee cup with the mould in it? 
I threw it away, sir. But I was breeding that mould. As one of the most recognisable British accents, the Liverpool tone is also one of the most often imitated. But that doesn't make it any easier to copy. I just think we should go to the toilet. Another Isn't it, uh, was it, isn't Patty the baddie, the UFC fighter? Doesn't doesn't he have a Scouse accent? His accent is, bro. He's kind of hard to understand. Favorite for TV comedians, there are famous Liverpoolians throughout British popular culture, so there are plenty of examples of how it should sound, from Paul McCartney to Steven Gerrard. You know, we didn't know anything about any of that, so uh, no, so we got ripped off, but. Uh... But Harry Enfield is still a standout resource for anyone who's not from the city. Number five, hey, last week. So far, we're halfway through, and there hasn't been one where I'm like, huh? Like, there hasn't been one where it's like completely difficult for me to understand. All right, all right. All right. Trying to nail a generic Scottish accent can be challenging enough. So, throw in regional deviations, and it's even more complex. No, it's cool. You keep it. I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> At best, most people channel Mel Gibson by shouting freedom as loud as they can, but anything else and it all goes a wee bit wrong, and a bit groundskeeper willy. Still, at least there's a long list of famous Glaswegians to study for this particular sound, including the controversial comic Frankie Boyle and the 12th Doctor Peter Capaldi. Huh. Get into your head. Yes. Rewind today in your head. Yes. Okay, you? stop explaining it to me. Number four, received pronunciation. Wallace is not Ain't that, what, uh, ain't that what Lizzie speaks? I'm pretty sure that's, what, that's Lizzie's accent, right? Woman I'm carrying on with. We intend to marry. Closely linked to Queen's English, received pronunciation <laughs> is arguably the most stereotypically quintessentially British accent of all. It reminds, it's just like a, whenever I hear somebody that talks like that, it just reminds me of like, the, the Lizzie, like it reminds me of loyalty and like, not loyalty, royalty, and like just like being rich. Like it's, it's a really rich accent or a fancy you know, accent. it's rarer than a lot of today's other entries. To your average Brit, it's essentially labelled as a posh accent, supposedly in line with how the royal family speaks, and it's typically associated with the south of England. Well, then, let's not overcomplicate matters unnecessarily. Often a go-to tone whenever American shows include a British scene, it usually takes professional training to get it just so. Number three, Birmingham. I said next time you'll come back and talk, you'll be a talking guest instead of a singing guest. Oh. Right. When's that next week? An accent with the unfortunate distinction of having previously yeah, been Aussie. rated as Britain's least intelligent, the Birmingham or Brummy sound seems to be constantly copied. But anyone who tries to feign it usually falls short. In fact, the accent is so difficult to understand that when Birmingham City Council set up an automated phone service, even it couldn't comprehend the local inflection at first. <laughs> the doctor, she was pregnant the same time she was I pregnant. I don't think so. And I don't know if she can get pregnant anyway with your little... However, with shows like Peaky Blinders pulling in massive audiences, opinions could soon start to change. You're a good man. And a good soldier. Bro, I need to watch I need to watch that. I've had a lot of people tell me I need to watch that. I just I've never started it. Y'all let me know. Is it really that good? Like I've had a lot of people tell me Peaky Blinders is like the show. Y'all let me know. Welsh. What the bloody hell is this? Tell me this is meant to be me. It's another that can split into lots of local variations, but for anyone who's not from Wales, most Welsh accents are almost unfathomable. I mean, ain't it a completely different language? Like, they don't even have some letters that I got, like... <laughs> I've never seen the human condition illuminated in such a way. With vowel sounds unlike anywhere else, general Welsh languages and dialects seem an ongoing fascination hey, for the rest of Britain. No matter how you talk, I love my Wales people. And the rest of the world. Naturally, that interest leads to lots of, mostly unsuccessful, attempts to imitate the Welsh way of speaking. But even if you do perfect the accent, pronouncing the place names is a whole new challenge. Just up the road from Clan by the Push Gwing, go get a Quin Drobos, Clan to Silio Go Go Go. We need to go to go 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 and I'm just gonna absolutely kill it. It ain't today, but it's gonna be soon. <laughs> the temperature got to 21 Celsius. He was so happy after he did that too. Night. Number one, Jordy. Bro, I knew this was gonna be it. I knew this was gonna be it. The, every time I see a video of somebody talking Jordy, it, I, you might as well turn subtitles on because there's no understanding. And the, uh, the Jordy people. <laughs> you know, 
What I reckon is that if they had themselves proper jobs, they wouldn't be up to all this, you know, larking every night. What? Newcastle, a city famous for Anton Deck, Alan Shearer, and for having its own reality TV show. It's no wonder that the North East accent has become so popular, or so synonymous with the UK. They make a canny noise like. I beg your pardon? But while it's often considered as one of Britain's friendliest accents, it's not the easiest to get to grips with. For anyone who's trying to forge it, it's usually the case of a few cannies here, a tune or two there, and a YI man to finish. But true Geordies will spot the copycat a mile. Yeah, I'm sure like on TV and stuff, they like over exaggerated. Like I'm sure if I if I was talking to somebody with a Geordie accent face to face and they weren't like trying to drag it on, I'm sure you could really understand it. But bro, them TV shows like uh, was it Geordie Shore or whatever? When they start arguing, there's no understanding it. It just it's just a bunch of noise. <laughs> Better not be note like last week, me crap is still burning! Alright, <laughs> this week we will be doing all your pet! Do you agree? Why? What? I'm gonna have a nightmare. What the hell was that? Hey, I don't care what anybody says. A British accent is a top tier accent regardless of what it is, alright? But alright guys, that is going to do it for the top 10 hardest UK accents to imitate. If I was to make this list, it would be about 100 long because I can't do accents. But y'all let me know what y'all thought down in the comments and y'all let me know the true hardest UK accent to imitate. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure I go out today, spread love, spread kindness, do something nice to somebody today. I love you guys so much, I really do. Check your accent, I'm out. Peace!